Hey what's up everybody this is Tattoo Barn and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I got a new review for you. We're gonna review the machine from Ambition, the Thorf, which is a new one that I've seen come around and it seemed very special to me. It looks like this, I got the golden edition. But before we dive down let's actually talk a little bit about how I found this machine. So here we go. So originally I was looking for a machine with a little bit more of an adjustable stroke and I found the Fold from Dragonhawk. I think Ambition actually recently came out with one as well. It's called the Mars. The thing that bothered me a little bit is you can adjust the stroke but you can most of the time adjust it anywhere in between two millimeters and four. And I actually was looking for a machine that can go from four and higher so I skipped to get the adjustable machines and I found this machine because this one will come with a four millimeter a four and a half and a five millimeter stroke now in this video we're gonna unbox this machine we're gonna talk a little bit about the strokes and how they can affect the machine of, of how they are running and we're gonna of course test this machine out on some practice games so you guys can see how this works so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and you leave a comment in the comment section below which stroke uh, is your favorite. Maybe you like a three and a half or maybe you like a four or higher. Let me know in the comments. So write down which millimeter stroke you would like the most and let's dive down and unbox this machine. So in the box was this little package which you may notice looks similar like all the ambition boxes but this one is super small. I don't think I have seen it this small before. So we're gonna open it up see what we find inside. So right here we got the machine. I ordered, ordered the golden one. I think they have one in black and in pink. Well, you can take that one out. And it's really small. You can see it here. Here you can adjust how much your needle will go, come out. And as you can hear, this thing really clicks. I don't think this machine will ever turn or adjust your needle depth on you while you're tattooing when you're making like a turn or something. First I thought, where are my spare parts? But they're actually on the other side. There's a little foam thingy here. You will find your spare parts here and also an RCA cable which you can use to run the machine. Now you can buy this machine wireless but I opted not to because I don't know I don't really like working wireless. I like to have a little bit more control over my voltage than what the power, power banks can give me. Uh, if you open this little bag here you can see here we got the five millimeter stroke uh, if you can read that five millimeter it says it on the top there and we also have the four and a half millimeter stroke now what I really like about this machine is that they actually have the little plunger bar or pusher bar however you wanna call it already installed I remember when I did the review on the Ambition Soldier it came with a three and a half and a four millimeter cam but there was only one bar and you know it is a Chinese manufacturer and sometimes these screws can get dull really fast and then you cannot really use it anymore so I actually like that they already installed this so you don't have to fill around with that you might just have to adjust it so it's a little bit more straight because this one doesn't seem too straight to me but we'll see how it works out in the end anyways so you can just install that on there um, I'm not gonna go too far in depth I think it's pretty um, pretty forward on how to change that if you unscrew this there's gonna be a little screw right here on the bottom if you untie that you can lift it up and replace it with another one so I'm not gonna go too far into that 
I am going to be adjusting the strokes because of course we're going to test all of them out. Uh, but so far this machine looks pretty solid. It's a little squeaky. Um, so let's actually hook it up and let's see how she runs. So I quickly hooked it up to the cable. Of course, before we're going to test it out uh, on the practice kit, I'm going to wrap the whole machine. But for now, I just want to hear how it runs because I honestly haven't heard it yet. I haven't hooked it up. I waited for this video so I can do this all honest. I got the four millimeter installed now. Let's start at about five volts. There we go. And hit it. Now, I don't know if you can hear it. It's fairly quiet. You can hear it a little bit. It doesn't make any weird rattling noises or anything, uh, which is good. I like it. It does vibrate a little bit, but maybe that's because I don't have any grip tape on, but I don't mind a little bit of vibrations. I mean, I yeah, it comes with the job, right? It's not anything crazy. Uh, cool. Let's speed it up a little bit because this sounds pretty slow. So we're going to go to six volts. Sounds pretty good. I could maybe line with this or maybe do some shading. Although I do prefer to do my shading really slow. So I might tune it down just a little bit on the voltage. Let's go up even more to seven. There we go. Sounds good. It's all sounding pretty nice. All right, but what I'm actually really excited about is to get that 5.0 millimeter stroke in here and see what that does. So I'm actually gonna do that right now uh, and I'll be right back when I have it installed. All right, so I got the five millimeter cam installed right now. Uh, we're gonna hit it at five volts again and see what happens. You hear that? To me, it does sound like a more like calm stroke, which is actually the reason why I bought it. Because uh, with a five millimeter stroke, you lose a little bit less power when you run it at a slow voltage. And since I like to work really slow, for example, if I work with a three and a half millimeter stroke and I want to do some color packing and I run the machine super slow, it seems like I'm losing a little bit of power or if I want to do some lining really slow because I'm working with a big needle and I don't want to tear up the skin I just miss that little bit of extra power when I'm tattooing slow so that's why I got this one which has like longer strokes so we're gonna hit it at 6 volts and see what happens then you can hear it's a little bit faster it doesn't vibrate a lot more it's still pretty the same maybe it's me but it seems to be a little bit more quiet now we're gonna go to seven volts you can hear it's running pretty fast but it doesn't it's, it's just not quite as fast as the other one just a little bit less all right cool so it works which is another pro <laughs> I really like that um, so yeah I'm gonna wrap this machine I'm gonna put some gloves on get some cartridges out the practice skin uh, and I'm gonna be meeting you right here and we're gonna do some tattooing with it so stay tuned all right so we're gonna start with the five millimeter stroke I drew a small design on here the five millimeter stroke the four and a half and the four we're gonna start with the five millimeter stroke I'm gonna outline all this with a nine round shader because it's a longer stroke so I want to see how it does with a little bit of a bolder line I'm gonna do this one solid black and then I'm gonna shade this one with a nine curved magnum mm, I would have wanted to use maybe a bigger magnum but since it's a since it's just a small design to test it out I'm gonna use a smaller magnum so it is gonna be a little bit of a pickle because in between I'm gonna have to change the cam but that's what I'll do for you guys so 
let's put the cartridge in there dip in a little bit of ink and see how she does now this needle will pop out super far if you uh, have it like normal so we're gonna adjust it a little bit I think I'm gonna be having it out just like so uh, well let's dip in some ink and let's start ripping Sling on there. Mm, let's do this small line right here. That thing definitely pushes. This is at seven volts, but I think it could use a little bit more. So we're gonna go to seven and a half. See if I can line it a little bit smoother then, because now I feel like I have to go too slow. So let's do a little bit of a longer line here. I really start to like this thing because it lines like a beast now of course we will have to see how it works on real skin but so far I'm pretty impressed so let's quickly finish this lining and then we're gonna do some color All right, do you see these lines? They look pretty clean to me, I like it. It's really easy with the... It really is easy to get that needle in there. So 
I think if you are a beginner, this is going to be something you have to be really careful about when you're working on a normal skin because this thing will push no matter what. I think even on the on the practice skin, I went a little bit too deep because I can feel like the machine starts to bounce. Uh, but it's pretty solid. I really like it. So I'm going to pack this one black. I think I'm going to leave just a little highlight around the edge and then we're going to shade this one a little bit. So let's go. I think I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. So we're going to go seven, seven fold. So here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do just a little shadow line so I know until where we're gonna color, and then I'm gonna color it in with the 9 mag. Just a bit like that. Okay. Quickly change the needle. I'm also using the uh, the Ambition needles, by the way. They seem to work pretty nice to me. At least I like them. And the other one is from Kel. I don't know. It's also a Chinese brand. I just use them for the practice skin mostly. They do work pretty good. I like it. All right, let's see how it runs with a magnet. The sure is a bit more loud with this one, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Ooh, ooh. That's better. Maybe turn it down just a little bit more. Okay. So I'm now running it at 5.7 volts for the color packing. Here we go. I like it. I'm just making really small circles and kind of move forward. Keep making circles going to the side. So you get over each and every area. I don't really push, I just let the needle do the work. And make sure you wipe so you can see what you've actually done. That looks black. That seems to work. Seems nice and solid in there. You don't really see the difference between the outline I did and the color that I packed. So now we're gonna do some shading. I'm actually gonna slow it down just a little bit more just so we can get a nice whip shading. Let's keep it at five. Five folds. Now remember if you wanna do shading, make sure you just brush over the over the skin or the practice skin in this case you never really want to push when you do shading especially with a with a stroke like this because it's really powerful so probably soft shading will not really be a good option with this machine but some nice spicy whip shading will be really cool i think so let's see what happens now that i've got you here and i've been telling you all these things about how to do the shading 
why not do a tutorial or some classes? I feel the need that I have to improve myself in my black and gray and I want to take you guys along on the journey with me. So if you are willing to tag along on this journey, make sure you comment journey in the comment section below and that will help me to see how many people actually want to see a black and gray tutorial kind of video like this and it's gonna be practice for me you can practice along with me um, so yeah just have some fun together and learn from each other so if you want that common journey in the comment sections below let's get back to the video here we go I'm just gonna go from this line that way towards the top so here we go It actually shades pretty soft. I like it. Seems to be good. Just build up a nice shade here. And go from dark to light. I'm just using solid black. I'm not using anything different. Just building up that shade. Let's darken it up a little bit around the edges. Just a little bit more towards this little belly here. Let's actually give that a proper clean. See what it looks like. I am liking this already. For sure. Let's bring you a little bit closer here. I don't know if you can see that well. But the black is absolute solid. And then the shading is super smooth because you can run it super slow. So you have all that time to build up a nice shade without getting like stripes or something because the machine is just running too fast uh, so I'm wondering what's gonna happen actually on the four and a half and the four so I'm quickly gonna change the cam and then I'll be right back with you all right and we are back I got the four and a half millimeter installed now so I'm gonna run it and adjust the needle depth one more one more time sorry it's now at five I'm gonna go back to seven although this sounds a lot faster than the other one did but let's try seven so once again I'm gonna do the outlines actually it's gonna be exactly the same as the one next to it Except with a different stroke. See how much difference it makes. Okay. A little bit more needle. Yep. There we go. And here we go again. Doing lining.
you can already feel it feels a little bit softer than the other one not that it's a bad thing but you can see here that line didn't go into good I have to push just a little bit harder uh, but we'll fix that later Let's do a little bit of a longer line there you go see you really gotta push with this one So I would say it's a little bit safer. I mean, if you're tattooing, if you're new to tattooing, it might be better to be just a little bit safer than sorry, right? Actually, now that I get the hang of it, it actually feels quite nice. Because with the other one I was just bouncing up and down because it just hits hard. And this one you just get to push a little bit more so you don't go deep or too deep really quick. A bit of a longer line. up on that line again too soft here but that's something I will take for granted how we're gonna shade there anyways doesn't matter Change the needle to the magnum. Here we go. So I'm going to use the same technique tiny circles working my way forward looks good but this is six and I think on this one I used five so just to see what it does, I want to use this one at 5 as well. 
Mm -hmm. You can hear it's really slow. I want to see if it maintains that power because with the 5 it was no problem. I'm not sure if it's going to be with this one. So let's see what happens. Feel a little bit more resistance, but it doesn't matter too much. Still works out pretty good. See how that goes. As you can see, it doesn't get solid as fast as the other one because it's just a little bit more softer. But that's okay. I mean, if you want to do a softer shade, then obviously go with a little bit of a smaller stroke. I'm gonna push just a little bit harder and see what happens. clean and I mean I don't know if you can see the difference I can both look good I like it okay so let's do this change one more time to get back to the four four millimeter stroke all right so now I got the four millimeter stroke installed I'm gonna go back to seven volts there we go and the needle just a little bit more and let's do the lining again. All right. So here we go. This one is definitely struggling. I might need a little bit more voltage for this one. I'm gonna go to 7.7. 7.5, 7.7. 
Mm, let's try it out. One line again. That seems to work a little bit better. Let's go here. So I definitely feel that I have to work a lot harder to get these lines in. And it's actually pretty funny to feel this, you know, because normally you will have like you do a tattoo with a certain stroke and then you do another tattoo with a different kind of stroke, but you cannot really compare it. And now like within 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I have done all three of the strokes so I can definitely feel a difference. This long one here. So definitely, I think that out of all the three strokes, strokes. So definitely, out of the three strokes that I've used, this one is actually the worst for lining. But that's my opinion. Maybe it's because of the needle that I'm using. But I think I like the four and like in between the yeah, the four and a half was really nice because you get a little bit more control. Uh, but the five was just super easy. This one, I really have to work hard to get that needle in. Just quickly do that. But that's okay. I wasn't gonna use the. I wasn't gonna use the four millimeter stroke on this machine anyways because I have the Ambition Soldier that I can run with the four millimeter stroke. So that's absolutely no problem. I got the Mac in here as well. So we're gonna do some solid black. And I'm gonna do that 6.9. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit less, six and a half. Six and a half it is. Okay. Let's back some solid black again.
side, that's the black. I mean, it works. But it's definitely a lot softer and I feel like I'm damaging the practice skin a little bit, which is not a good sign. This definitely went a lot easier. You can definitely see the difference between the three. This one went super easy. This one I had to work a little bit harder, but it's still good. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. 5.8 and we're gonna do the whip shade. Alright, let's go. This is way softer, which is okay. Clean that one more time. Clean all three of them. Now let's have a look here up close. So this one was the five millimeter stroke right here. As you can see, the transition is a little bit harsher. So the shading is a little bit harsher, which would be really good for if you do American traditional or old school something, you know, or maybe you do mandalas and you want to use that stippling shading that you see in the, in the peony flowers and things like that. This is your go-to and especially as a color packer it works amazing. It lines as well. I do have to say I think I like the four and a half millimeter stroke a little bit more for lining. Um, I didn't like it as much as a shader. I was definitely struggling with getting a solid shading. Solid black is good. It took a little bit more effort than the five millimeter stroke which is good. Um, and then the four millimeter stroke was actually a pretty big disappointment other than the shading because you can see the difference between the shading like this is a quick transition this is a nice smooth even transition from dark to light it doesn't get as dark as the other one maybe that's because I got a little bit impatient I don't know but it can also have to do with that it just hits a little bit softer but that shading is definitely a little bit smoother so maybe if you're more into realism that four millimeter stroke might be a little bit better for you or if you want to do um, color blending if you do color realism 
but the lining was really disappointing and also the solid black I am not very satisfied with that but other than that I absolutely love this machine because the reason why I bought it is because it had that long stroke so the five millimeter and the four and a half millimeter and they performed really well um, so yeah I'm gonna clean all this mess up and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about this machine and what my thoughts are about it so stay tuned and I'll be right back now I will have to say I am really 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 impressed with this machine it is definitely powerful it definitely gave me uh, what I bought it for which was the long millimeter stroke the five and the four and a half so I just have that little bit more power on the machine when I run it at a low voltage and yeah I mean it's actually mind-blowing I like it the quality seems to be a lot better than on the uh, Ambition Soldier uh, I bought that one things broke already uh, and this one just seems a little bit more solid it seems like the way they build the cams it's a little bit more built to last which I really like to see uh, and I mean they've been selling a lot of machines so I think they got a lot of feedback from people that used it so they can use it into their advantage and you know make better quality machines for us so if you are willing to buy this machine I will put the link to the shop uh, in the description down below and also if you really like this tutorial make sure you smash that like button and you subscribe to the channel because you're really gonna help this channel out and maybe grow this channel so we can do more reviews like this uh, yeah other than that I have not that much to say make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video